Take two. <laughs> Hello, YouTube. Ghost Cobb here on this chilly International Corn Cob Month day. Smoking my Missouri Meerschaum Legend Rob Roy Bowl with the Bent Amber Stem. Using a 30 odd 6 tamper. And a little half and a half in it. Going with the old over the counter tobacco today, folks. So today we're going to talk Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. Some of you will say, Bah humbug. I used to be one of those. But I quit working retail. Now I love Christmas. Oh, I'm having a glass of water in my Cigar Fest mug. One of my Cigar Fest mugs. You know, I know that, um, let me relight this real quick before I get started there. Pardon me. Okay. You know, a lot of people, they seem to think that the spirit of Christmas is gone. That it's now all about the newest toy and running people over in the mall and kicking each other and hitting each other with carts on Black Friday to get that new G.I. Joe guy or that new PS4 game or whatever box is out now. It certainly doesn't have to be that way, folks. Uh, About three or four years ago, my family, it's been about four I guess maybe, um, my family, my wife and I and my daughter, decided to forego Christmas. Now what we did was, we did not take vacation that year. We were going to put that year's vacation and the year, the next year's vacation together and just take one big vacation, kind of. What I mean by that is we went to Disney World for Christmas. We didn't tell Haley until the day we were leaving. We hid it from her. It was awesome. She opened up a box and it had a pink... Uh, the year on it with the Disney sweatshirt and she was just like what we were like yeah keep looking in the box she kept looking and she seen the tickets flight tickets the bracelets for Disney and she was just like in awe over it um so what we done was we went through the Salvation Army and adopted a family Now, there are qualifications to for that. You know, you can't just get on it and get free stuff, obviously. But, I mean, there's a lot of people out there that need help, and that if you have the ability to do it, it is such a blessing to be able to do that for someone. Um, we had a family that her husband had a bad accident at work, and was possibly going to lose a limb, a leg. Um, he was having a lot of difficulty with nerve damage and stuff in his leg. And um, she was trying to find work. They had three kids. Um, they were struggling at the time, very much so. 
So they reached out to them and, excuse me, um, the lady from Salvation Army contacted us with the family and what they did was they gave us a list, a wish list. The requirements are when, you're, when you adopt is you have to provide the Christmas meal. Okay. Didn't want her to go out. Um, you have to get each child mittens, a shirt, and a pair of pants. And the parents put a couple things on the list that they would like to have. And the kids would put toys on there they'd like to have. Okay? So it's not a total shot in the dark when you're shopping. Now what we did, we just bought them a $100 gift card for the local giant grocery store here. Um, because some people don't like turkey and some people don't like to have the meals. You know, for them, they... Fortunately, we did that because the $100 that we gave them was able to feed them for almost a month with groceries. So it still went to food on the table, and it just instead of feeding them for one day, it fed them for a month. Um, you don't have to meet the family. We did not want to, but the family wanted to meet us, so they contacted them, and the Lady of Salvation Army uh, arranged the meeting, and we were able to uh, get together and... Um, Meet them, great family, uh, beautiful children, and uh, it was really, really cool to see it. And uh, we actually went and bought extra toys for the kids, so when we met them, we were able to give the kids an extra toy, personally give them the toy. And um, that was a really, really emotional and uh, great feeling. You know, I grew up not a lot and to have that opportunity to do that that was one of the best Christmases that I've ever had um, that was that was amazing so if you have the ability to do it, I very strongly suggest you do it. Um, it is a great, great blessing to be able to provide someone for a Christmas that they couldn't have. And if you know somebody who's struggling, who has had some tragedy in their life, whether it be, you know, an accident or a fire or a tornado or a flood or something like that, have them contact the Salvation Army now. See if they can get on the list to get adopted. They may not be able to get the whole family adopted, but they would at least be able to put the children out there to get gifts for the kids. Um, you know, it, it's just one of those things that... Christmas is not dead. The spirit of Christmas is not dead. It lives in your heart. And if you have the ability to do it I, I really strongly suggest you do it um, I just wanted to get that out there today I know it's early November and you guys probably don't want to talk Christmas but if you guys know somebody out there or if you have the ability to do it or you're looking for something to do community wise or something that you've thought about and never really looked into contact your local Salvation Army and uh, see what you can do um, I uh, know it was a great experience for us, and um, if you have any uh, comments or maybe you've done it and you have a, a uh, experience to share, please by all means share it with me in comments or VR, and um, I truly uh, hope that um, this video finds you well, and uh, until we can pack another pipe together, guys, continue to enjoy International Corn Cob Pipe Month. And let all that you do be done out of love. Y'all take care and God bless.